Hi guys, what's up? It's Jesse Hilgenberg and welcome to Macro Monday. So I know we're usually in my kitchen and I make you guys a meal from my macros to show you how you can make meals from your macros too. But you know what? Sometimes we're on the go and today I am on the go. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to get some fast food. Let's go. Hi, welcome to Chicago. How's your day going? It's great. How's your day? Mine's great too. Well, thank you for you. Can I please have a grande latte with almond milk, please? Yeah, for sure. What else can I get for you? That's going to be it. Thank you. All right. Total's going to be 10 to get the window. Okay, thanks. Hi. Hi. It's going to be 10 to get the Thank you. He looks like uh, Harry from Love is Blind. Not Love is Blind. Too Hot to Handle. Have you guys ever seen that? No. Oh, you should watch Too Hot to Handle. Oh, is it a, it's a dating show? Yeah, look. See him? <laughs> See that cute little face? Now wait till Landon opens the window again. It's the same guy. <laughs> no way. Hey, that one. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Same dude. <laughs> right? Have you, ever, have you ever seen the show Too Hot to Handle? Yeah, I have. You look like Harry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look just like him. At least your eyes do. Yeah, thank you. He's What's cute. What's the camera for? <laughs> it's we from saw my... you guys earlier, I think. <laughs> it's for my YouTube channel. Oh, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. What is it? Jess Hilgenberg. Jess Hilgenberg? Yeah, I do all things fitness and stuff. So right now I'm getting a Starbucks drink and I'm going to teach them how to enter it into my fitness pal to track their macros and stuff. Oh, nice. That's yeah, cool. yeah. Okay. What, what was it one more time? Jess Hilgenberg. Okay, sweet. Okay. Bye, Harry. Yeah, have to <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have my grande almond milk latte. And before I go grab some lunch, I wanted to show you guys how I enter a Starbucks drink like this one into my fitness pal. So where I start is I'm sure there's lots of other websites, maybe even on the Starbucks website they have it, but if you guys go to fastfoodnutrition.org, you can usually put in anything from any fast food restaurant. So I've looked up Starbucks Grande Latte with almond milk, and I've done some research back and forth uh, between Starbucks data and this, and every time I've looked at it, it's been re really accurate. So um, here's the information for uh, this exact drink from Starbucks. And then from here, you go into my fitness pal and I'm going to add it. So I'm going to click add food and then I'm going to look in my history for this because I know I've entered it in before. There it is. So grande almond milk latte, 16 ounce. I'm going to select that, press add. And now that's in. From here, you guys just double check all of the nutrition facts. So I bring up fastfoodnutrition.org because this is what you're gonna go back and forth with. So you're gonna look at what's on that website for this drink and you're going to compare it against what pulls up in MyFitnessPal. And in this situation, it is spot on. So you get to just press the check mark and you're good to go. So now I have entered in my almond milk latte into my fitness pal, and now we can go grab some lunch. Let's go. So you guys just take your favorite meals and put them into my fitness pal. See if you can figure out how they will make sense for your macros, how you can fit those meals into your day. So I, today is a day where I'm not trying to make every single meal fit my macros perfectly because it's not realistic for what my schedule is today, what I'm doing today. I'm on the go, out and about, running errands. Sammy has a soccer game tonight. All sorts of stuff is going on. So I am just taking the work that I've done before this moment, which is finding out which types of meals at Chick-fil-A work for my macros. So if I was super hungry and I didn't have anything prepared, I would go through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and my stomach would tell me to order a spicy chicken sandwich and a large drink and a large fry because they're delicious. But if you enter that into your MyFitnessPal after you've eaten it, you realize that you basically used up a ton of macros and the rest of the day is kind of crappy because you can't, you probably went way over on your fats and your carbs. 
So I know the exact items that I can order at Chick-fil-A in order to still have a totally normal, legit day with my macros. And that is what I'm about to order. So I'm gonna take you guys through that whole process and then show you how I enter it in. All right, let's go eat. Hi, how are you? Today? How are you? I'm good. Can I get a name for your order? Jesse. I'm gonna get a grilled chicken sandwich, just the sandwich, okay. and a medium diet lemonade. Okay. Well, that'd be all for you guys today. That's it. Any sauces? Uh, no. All right, it's gonna be 15 Okay. Go ahead and get your chicken. You guys having a good day? Yeah, are you? It's not too bad. Cool. Nice day for you to be outside. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about my order at um, Chick Fil A and how to like track your macros and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. You have a beautiful. Thank you. Right. You also, too. There's a survey on your receipt for a free sandwich for your next visit. Awesome. Thank you. My pleasure. See ya. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. <laughs> You're the shit. <laughs> All right. Let's chow down. First of all, diet lemonade from Chick-fil-A, I have dreams about. Like I will drive to Chick-fil-A just to get this. So there's a little nugget for you, because that shit's amazing. Okay, before I dive in, I'm going to show you guys how to enter this into my fitness pal. So I'm gonna go into my fitness pal and I'm gonna press add food. My Starbucks is already in there. And because I put my foods into my fitness pal, just in my own library here, so that I'm prepared when I go out to dinner or out to lunch, I'm gonna press grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, because I knew that's what I was gonna order, and click add, and then press add food again, and go to medium diet lemonade, and press add. And so now I have my whole entire Chick-fil-A meal in my fitness pal. And just like I did with Starbucks, I want you guys to make sure that you're using accurate data. So what the awesome thing is about Chick-fil-A is on their website, they have all of their nutrition data. So you can go in there and get all of their stuff and make sure you guys open it up. So I'm opening the grilled chicken sandwich and I'm looking at the nutrition facts. And if you go to the Chick-fil-A website, you can you know double check that everything is the same as it shows up in my fitness pal and it does and do the exact same thing with the diet lemonade and you're good. Okay, so now I've got this all in. I know what my macros are for this meal. I know what my macros are for the rest of the day and I'm good to go. And all that's left to do is to eat my chicken sandwich. I don't know what you guys do that don't have a Chick-fil-A in your town. I don't know what I would do. I wouldn't have moved back to Reno if there wasn't a Chick-fil-A, that's for sure. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna chow down on my sandwich and my lemonade. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it helped. Leave a comment below if there's any other sort of on the go, fast food, restaurant, anything like that that I can help you guys with. I'm trying to just show you guys how tracking your macros and being on the go and making meals from your macros can be super simple if you're just prepared and um, make it easy and simple. Okay. So simple foods, simple meals, and you guys can totally do this. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you always get notified on Macro Monday.